morning everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I've moved around my flat a bit so I'm still trying to work out where it's best to film now. Um, so sorry, this is going to be quite bright, it seems, look at that, Oof, pale. Um, um, today we're going to be doing a time lapse video, drawing a portrait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film from start to finish um, me drawing a portrait. I'm just going to do line drawing and then we'll do the colour in another video. And what I'm thinking is, after I've done those videos, I'm going to do um, specific videos on tips for how to draw different bits of the face. Um, so like eyes, eyebrows, hair, nose, mouth, getting the neck right, getting ears right. And then we'll try drawing again and you'll be able to see what tips you've picked up. Because I think that's what's really helped me with drawing portraits. It's been... Um, just little things that people have said to me over the years that I've picked up. Um, just like with everything, everyone's portraits are going to look a bit different because we'll all focus on different things. Um, so, here we go. Uh, have a watch of this. Um, you can draw the same picture or you can pick your own picture and just watch vaguely the way I do it. Um, so have a wee troll through the internet. Um, my tips for picking your first portrait are try and get one that's face on because if you're doing any of this too early on it gets really confusing especially this sort of view where you've got a little bit of eye and a bit of nose it's so trust me start with front on and um, also try and go for one with it's not got lots of teeth because teeth when you draw them especially with a lot of detail can look really weird um, and suddenly all you can see is teeth um, and I don't know if anyone wants that if you want that go for it but um, I'd have, I'd have, I, I would recommend going for one with if they're smiling no teeth smile something like that not and um, you also want to go for something that hasn't been too photoshopped so you can spot some things really photoshopped because it'll be really smooth like my face is right now because there's so much light so there's no lines or any detail on any of my face and stuff whereas um try to get it a bit where there's a few more a bit more detail nope you can't but um, what you should be able to see is kind of lines differences in tone, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'd also advise not going for anyone too beautiful. So by that I sort of mean people on the covers of magazines that have been really airbrushed or they've got loads of makeup on so everything is very precise, like big lips, that sort of thing. Um, just because you, it's harder to draw because there's nothing going on in between all the features. Okay, so have a little think about that and let's get going. There we go, so that was some little hints for helping you pick the sort of picture you want to work from. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do Issa Rae um, because she's got a new TV series coming out and I really want to watch it but it's not released in the UK yet and um, so I'm going to fill that, fill that need by drawing her. Um, so obviously she is really beautiful. Um, so don't think that when I said uh, don't pick anyone too beautiful, I can admit more than that I've been manipulated by a computer to smooth out all my imperfections with. Um, so you can 100% pick someone you think is really beautiful and really cool and really talented, like I think Issa Rae is.
All right, everyone, this is as finished as I'm going to get with this picture today. Because, oh, she didn't see it for a very long time. Um, so I finished her face, done a bit of her arms, um, but I've left this side of her jacket because oh, my eyes hurt. I'm getting a bit strained, so, you know, might take a few a few days to do a really detailed drawing with lots of shading. Um, so I hope you kind of enjoyed watching that bit of a time lapse and seeing how how it worked. Um, and over the next few weeks I'm going to do one video that's explaining how to do different versions of the face and some different tips and tricks. Okay, um, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, good luck with drawing wherever you want to draw. Sorry, I just realised I have graphite all over my face from my, all my smudging. Um, okay, so today's joke is... Um, a man came up to me the other day and said oh you've got a face like a million dollars and I was like oh really and he said yes green dry and wrinkly <laughs> that was weak um but I'm really tired that's right uh, okay have a lovely day guys and um, have some fun and stay safe <laughs>